Welcome to the DK Custom Products channel. My name is Dwayne, this is Kevin. And today we're gonna discuss what does a Ford Explorer, I call them exploders because they're pieces of uh, What does that have to do with Harley trikes and your comfort? Disclaimer, <laughs> because of the litigious society that we live in, this is not advice for you to do something against what is in your manual. This is what I have done for hundreds of thousands of miles on my trikes and, and what other people we know have done on their trikes that make for a more comfortable ride. This is just what we do. This is not <laughs> advice on what you should do. Yeah. This is just giving you information of our experience, which you can put together with all the other information that you gather, and you make your own choice, including what is in the manual. Before we get into this video, if you could please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. We would appreciate it. It helps us out a lot. Right, and some of you guys, I know a lot of you guys are old enough. I'm just barely old enough to remember when SUVs got really popular. One of the big ones was the Ford Explorer. One of the big things were them trucks rolling over. You know, they're top heavy and, you know, tire pressure plays a role. Ford and Firestone, the tire manufacturer, got into a little spat and a little finger pointing, but we're gonna discuss what that has to do with Harley trikes. Right, and we actually have an article that we'll put a link to in the corner mm -hmm. on this whole subject, and we're just going to talk about some of the things in this article, but you can go to that link and read the entire thing. But the bottom line is, is that there is a tire and rim association for automotive <laughs> There's tires. always an overseeing association. Right, always. There's, there's an association... <laughs> What the Tire and Rim Association said about the uh, tire pressure on a P20570R15 tire, which is a size tire used on a lot of cars mm -hmm. and used on the rear of the Harley trikes. They say that uh, it lists a load carrying capacity of 1,146 pounds per tire. And you could run, and they recommend running 20 PSI. Well, you never have on a Harley trike more than 1,146 pounds on a tire. And if 20 PSI was good in 1999, why does why do the tire manufacturers, why does the Harley manual say the minimum is 26 PSI for those tires? And as what Dwayne said earlier is, is that people were lowering their tire pressure down on their Ford Explorers mm -hmm. to 20 PSI, 21 PSI, 22 PSI, which was okay when they weren't loaded down. But then they would fill their <laughs> Explorer up and go yeah. around a curve and, and roll tip over. over. Yeah. And Firestone was blaming Ford for a poor design. Ford was blaming Firestone for the you know the, t the saying that you could run 20 psi and what it really was it wasn't ford's fault it wasn't firestone's fault but <laughs> the association was protecting the ignorant Consumer. ford explorer <laughs> ford explorer people from themselves yeah. because 20 psi is good when you're not loaded down it gives mm -hmm. you a more comfortable ride you're not going to roll over but if you put more weight in there you need to up your PSI. Well, that's not an issue for the Harleys. They're right. not going to, you can't load the Harley no. down enough. These are guidelines for automotive tires, which the trike uses, but you're never going to have the you're type not, of weight that can be applied to a Ford Explorer. So the whole 26 PSI thing is a phantom or fake uh, need to have it even on a car. You never need it on a right. trike. Now, with that said, when I bought my first trike in 2011, the manual says 26 PSI right. because the tire manufacturer won't go below 26 I, won't go below 26 PSI. So I'm I got the trike and it rode like a buckboard. And the Harley dealerships, when they were doing their PDI pre-delivery inspection, they're so used to on 
the motorcycle tires putting 36 PSI in it that my trike had 36 PSI in the rear tires. And of course, you, you understand when you have less PSI, the sidewalls are more flexible, you get a more comfortable ride. Mm -hmm. So when I first got my trike, it had 36 PSI. Horrible ride. I finally, when reading through the manual, saw it was supposed to be 26. I lowered it to 26. It was a much better ride right. than at 36, but it was still a buckboard. And then I started reading about people who were running 20, 21, 22, yeah. and that scared the crap out of me to, <laughs> to, so I lowered mine to 23 because I go around the corners fast. I was afraid I was going to pop a bead. Yeah. I had not read this article here. I didn't have this information. I just knew that the book said 26. So I lowered it to 23, went around, didn't pop a bead, lowered it to 22, I now run 20. So depending on the weather, my tire pressure is 20 to 21, maybe even drop down to 19 on a really cold day. But I put them at 20. Yeah. And um, and it's a much more comfortable ride because I have that, in, uh, that sidewall flex and if any of you have seen any of my videos, we'll put one up here of me playing around uh, in the parking lot across from our old facility where we were going around corners so tight and hard that we were lifting one of the, the wheels off the ground. So that's putting all, all the weight on the other rear tire and pushing laterally against it. it There's no issue. And in fact, the original designer of the trike, uh, you know, kit, the trike rear end on these Harley trikes, Lehman, they recommend 20 PSI. And they still recommend 20 right. PSI. Right. And if, I mean, just to even drive it home further, if you just Google, what should my trike tire PSI be? You'll find a hundred results from various forums. Well, the manual says 26, but I run this. And right. you know, it's you know perfectly harmless, but disclaimer, we're not telling you to run your tires flat, but still running about 20, 21, maybe 22, depending on your load, will drastically make that trike more comfortable. There's a couple related questions that people have when they hear about people running the rear tires on a Harley trike at 20, 21, 22, and they go, oh, isn't that going to be underinflated and the tire's going to cup or it's going to wear uh, unevenly? Well, no, because these tires are designed to run at 20. The 26 minimum is just something that the tire manufacturers are saying to avoid the whole tip over thing when you overload, right. when you put too much weight on the tire. They're made to run at that low of a PSI with a low load on it. Uh, I have, I think um, I changed before our trip up to the Arctic Circle. Um, I think I had 50,000 miles on that trike with the original rear tires on it. And I wanted to change it before we went up, but I still had like 25% of my tread left on there at yeah. 50,000 miles worn completely evenly. And the majority of that tire's life was at 20 PSI. Yes, yes. And um, now I have had tires at 20, 21 PSI where the center of the tread wore more than the outside of the tread, which conventional wisdom would tell you, oh, the tire's overinflated, yeah. but I had it at 20 PSI. But the uh, it's just because even at 20 PSI, it's technically overinflated <laughs> a little for as low a load. Yeah, the, that, that um, trike weighs almost nothing compared to automotive applications, right, a Ford Explorer, for right. example. And plus, I think when I do burnouts, the tires, you know, expand as they spin, <laughs> yeah, and the true. center expanded <laughs> a little more and just wore the rubber off. But so you're not going to get cupping, you're not going to get uneven wear at 20 psi on your trike. This information we're talking about is on the standard. Right, it does not apply standard trike model. Standard does not trike. apply to like CVOs with the low profile the tires. CVO, you can still run at a lower pressure but you're not going to get near the benefit because there's hardly any sidewall. Yeah. So I would still run a CVO tire because the CVO low profile, low sidewall tire is still the same thing. The 26 PSI is just there. So you 
when uh, for a car, not a, a, a SUV or a car, when it gets loaded to the max, that it has enough PSI in it for that. But when you lower it from 26 down to 2021, you're going to get some benefit, but not near as much on. Um, and you can see from the picture here, there's a whole big sidewall on the regular Harley trike sidewalls, whereas the CVO is pictured here has a very small sidewall. Right. So you're not gaining near as much. So conclusion is running at 20, 21, 22 PSI is going to give you a much more comfortable ride and you're still within the tire specs, just not within the protect uh, the, the the little the tire and rim association trying to protect people from themselves right but if you guys have any questions comments inputs on this subject man leave us a comment below we really enjoy comments y'all ride safe out there